Hey, welcome my YouTube friends. I am Vanessa with Scrapping It Up and welcome, welcome. So today I want to show you what um, I've been working on and I'm so excited about showing you guys. A year ago, in fact, exactly April 6th, I shared um, this accordion um, journal with you that was made out of um, gift wrap paper. And I've been um, playing around with it uh, since then. And um, I come up with, um, it's a journal, okay? It's a, it's a junk journal, but it's actually not a junk journal. And I'm going to be calling it my hodgepodge journal because it's not actually a junk journal. I consider a junk journal to where, you know, you're, put, you're gathering um, scraps of your um, scrapbook paper, envelopes, anything that you have um, around your craft room. Well, my journals, I pick out a collection kit and I make it with the paper and then I use the embellishments from that collection and come up with a journal. Okay. So I've got three of them here to show you and I hope you guys like this, but it's using gift wrap paper. Like what um, you can get this at Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Walmart, Michaels now even has it. It's gift wrap paper, um, packing, paper partial paper and i just love it i love it i love the the coffee dyed paper or tea dyed paper but i don't have a lot of time to be doing that so i come up with the idea of using gift wrap paper and i absolutely love it you can stamp on it you can stencil on it um, i put my embellishments on it photo mats on it um, yeah it's wonderful guys and I will be doing um, a couple of journals with you. I will show you how I treat my gift wrap, how I put it together for a journal and show you, you know, the stamping on it and everything. This was my first one that I'd done. And this is with the Serenity Collection from 49th and Market. Um, over on my Facebook page, we've been working on a folio album that has this in there. So I want to show you guys what what one of these can look like so the paper clip comes off i don't have anything underneath there but here i just glued on three sides use some embellishments and i've been getting into using um copy paper i've been using 28 pound copy paper for my photo mats to reduce a bulk in our albums and then i just um, rip out some journal paper from a little um journal book Okay, you can just buy these at Dollar Tree, Walmart, and that's what I use because I have to have lines when I journal. If I don't have lines, guess what? It's crooked, <laughs> and that drives me nuts. So, just a little idea, a little tip, guys, and then that just goes right in there, and then that fits in there. So, here I just um, journaled it, or journaled it, um, used a ephemera piece from the collection, stamped on it. And um, I used Hero Arts, um, I cut um, black dye ink. And since the gift wrap is doubled up, it does not go through. Okay, it do you don't see it because this is doubled up. All right. And I will be showing you that. So don't worry. I will be showing you. And then I inked um, my copy paper with, um, we've been using Stormy Sky. Distress ink from Tim Holtz. And um, I ink it all up. And then, of course, embellishments. And then my little freehand stitching and, and some more stamping and um, photo mats or journaling. However, you know, just because I have a mat here, that doesn't mean that's where I'm going to put a photo. I mean, I probably will, but I may put a photo here and journal here or just stick in a piece of ephemera here. But, oh, my gosh, this is so cute. And I use washi tape right here. But look at this. Then here I've done a little bit of twine and some eyelets for a little tuck place for a little booklet. And we're not done with this yet. So as soon as we get done with this project, 
I will share it here with you. But I'm really thinking about doing a couple of these journals with you and um, putting it inside an album. And I've been thinking about the Tranquility Collection from 49th and Market. But yeah, I will be doing this with you guys. I'll do a bunch of videos and uh, get them uploaded for you. And then again, just a photo mat. And then I've done the twine here with the eyelets. But well-defined areas for photographs. You can, you know, you can write on this. I don't know if I still have that little sample. Might have threw it away. I had a sample because I test, I've been testing this. You know, where you ink, write on it with different markers, and it does not go through. It does not go through. And I think, nope. And then here's a little, I just used a piece of ephemera from the collection. Again, my little notebook paper and a photo mat. And I think that's as far as we've gotten so far. And this is a sewed signature. That's what it looks like plain. And then, of course, you know, a piece of the um, scrapbook paper. And there's that. So that's one little quick journal. Okay. And then, I, of course, I used the washi tape around the edge. But this is a project. Um, this is uh, my March Madness project that we're doing over on my Facebook page. And I want to show you that I'm treating this kind of like a mini album. I've got two of them made. This one is almost, uh, it's a little over half, but wait till you see this. You open it up. I don't have that glued yet because I haven't finished. But this collection, this here is from the Wild, Wild Flower Collection by Simple Stories. And you take that out and you have a little flip. So I'm actually... I'm treating this like a mini album. You know, it's going to have well-defined areas for photographs, um, journaling. Again, I'm just using the paper from the collection, the ephemera from the collection, and, of course, copy paper, the gift wrap paper, and stamps and stencils. But, oh, how cute. Look at this. It's beautiful. And I, I think I chose, I think, five different... Um, Tim Holtz um, distressed inks and doing my photo mats and I will show you how I do that and just using you know strips left over from the collection but how cute and again I'm using um, copy paper mixed in with the um, gift wrap paper just for a different look and there's some stamping there's some washi tape copy paper and ephemera from the collection done some stamping here and I'll show you I'm gonna grab my pho photograph here and I like stamping on top of the photo mat because then when you put your photograph you still have the stamp if you do you know some on the photo mat and then some on the gift wrap you still have that stamp sticking out it's just peeking and I think I glued that. No, I didn't. You still have a little bit of the stamp peeking out. And again, see, put your photograph there. You have all the inking. There's your photograph on top of there. Nice defined areas for photographs. You know, you can put your photograph like that and right up here. And again, just just scraps here you know you can put a photograph photograph journal um put your photo here and then you could journal about it here there's some stamping underneath the photo mat but i love this and you know a lot of us don't like to do all the hinge systems that's out there you, you know you you just don't feel comfortable doing it well, to me, this is almost just as good as a mini album. Like, um, just a second, let me grab it. Here's a mini album, okay? It's got the hinge system in it. And this is one that I showed here a while back. Um, I'll put the link down below if you want to go check this out. But I used the gift wrap paper in this. 
Ain't that cute? Use my tearing tool, my We Are Memory Keepers tearing tools to achieve this look. And I'll put the link down below. It's, a, it's an Amazon link. Um, I do earn a small cup of coffee. If you go through my link, you can order anything that you want through that link. And it gives me credit. Okay, just helps my channel out. But yeah, gift wrap. And I just use my rulers to tear it. And I kind of done that throughout this whole album. And I love the look of that. I love it. Yes, it does take a little bit more time to complete the album, but it gives the album such a different look. But I'll put the link down below if you want to go check out um, this album whenever we get done here. I'll, I'll do that. But look at this. I made a little pocket out of the copy paper. Just glued three sides. I stenciled it, stamped it, stuck washi tape on it. How simple. And then stuck a couple of photo mats and, and ephemera pieces. And again, here's a piece of the copy paper. I love it. And then here's um, the foam stickers. Here I stuck my um, mat, my photo mat down and inked. So you just have it around the edges. And then I used my, my free hand to do around the photo. So pretty easy, guys. Real easy. And look at the look at this album. It's beautiful. Again, some washi tape and ephemera, the foam stickers. And here I just use my tearing tool again for my little journaling. Because you got to journal about your photos. Some stamping. I need one of these hearts over here. That'd be cute. I need to do that. And then here we have some little tip ins where you use washi tape to attach. This is a four by four um, cut apart from the collection. And again, nice big photo mat. You could center it or you can put it at the bottom journal, journal, or put some um, stickers up there. But I love this. I love it. Then here is the middle of our signature. I've done some stenciling, washi tape, and just use pieces of the ephemera. And again, I've done my, my fancy hand working. It's not fancy, <laughs> by no means. <laughs> but oh, how cute is this, guys? Let me know what you think about this. I'd really like to know what you think about this. I love it. And you turn the page and here I just use some copy paper and done a couple of flip outs. And I done a, just a little book for inside again, my little fancy handwriting. And the copy paper, when you do stamp on it with the dye ink, it does come through. But if you're strategic enough, you just put your photo mat here and then you put your photo here. It covers, it covers the stenciling or the stamping up. Mm, this collection by Simple Stories is beautiful. And then stuck some photo mats and some ephemera. And then I inked it. And then that just goes right back in here. Same thing over here. I don't have this all finished yet. I'm still, still working on this. And then I just stuck a photo mat over here. Done some stenciling and some stamping. And I think that's all I hope I have one more. So then this is a um, this copy paper is what's right here. So this is the back side of it. So I just added another piece of copy paper. I stenciled it first and then I stamped it. And then now we have a pocket right here. Ain't that cute, guys? I love this. And then again, the back has a pullout. But how cute. And then I have this one. This one, I haven't decorated in it yet. But you pull, you open it up, and it has a pocket here. And it has a tuck pocket right here. How cute is that? 
but if you want to join me, um, I, I'm working I, tonight is our first night of our March Madness project over on my Facebook page. I'm scrapping it up. Um, I will be showing how to do your um, your cut your paper, how to how to do it, and your copy paper. Now this one has paper throughout it. My other one didn't. I the other one I had copy paper, and then I just done a little tuck tuck place here. Again, the pocket here. I haven't got my pocket here yet. But yeah, ain't that cute? You can even, even with this gift wrapped, you can make little booklets. You know, here's a, you just glue three sides and there's your little um, photo mats or journaling. And I did sew this one. So you can use this for, you know, as... I don't know if it'll fit in this one or not. It might. But yeah, you can do these for your mini albums that you make. Make little booklets like this. But I love this idea. I love it. And I have this one. It's This one's not even sewed, sewed together. But you make, make these. And then you just sew them together. Yeah, that would be the center, center point. And you could either sew them, you can use elastic cording, you know, to put them together. If you don't use, um, if you don't do the sewing aspect, but very, very cute. Yeah, you could use these as, and I've got my album. We're going to have all four of these are going to fit we're going to um, elastic cord them in, on the spine of this album and have all four of them inside this album here. And then inside the front pocket, and I don't have it done yet, will be just a pocket to where you can stick notes and stuff that, you know, you don't want to forget and get in inside your journal thing. But yeah, if you want to join me, it's, it's over on my Facebook. Um, I will be doing a smaller version of this. Right here on YouTube for you guys. I think we'll just do two signatures and a smaller book. And I'm really thinking about using the Tranquility Collection. So, we'll see. <laughs> All right. And I may even, here on YouTube, put photographs. I may put photographs in it. You know, decorate it all up and then back up and put photographs in it. Or do some a little bit um, as I go. But I will be doing a video showing you how I cut my gift wrap and how I put get, put it all together to go inside of a journal like this. And I am calling this my hodgepodge journal because it's really not a junk journal. It's really not. So I come up with the name hodgepodge journal and that's what I'm going to call them. They're, I mean, they're almost just like a mini album, except for, you know, you don't have all the flips and flaps of a pocket. It's not cardstock. It's um, gift wrap paper, and I love it. So I hope you hope you love it um, as well. Please let me know down in the comments down below. Um, hit the subscribe button so you never miss out on any of my new projects that I come up with. All right. Or if you know of anybody that would like to see what we do over here and scrapping it up, please share. Yeah, please share. All right, that's all I have for you today. Um, we'll see you in the next video. All right, as always, keep scrapping. Bye-bye.